don't cry often in public events like this. I do a lot of performances and I am um, completely overwhelmed in this moment. Um, I wanna give thanks to my agent, Joan Paquette, who in 2012, let someone who had no manuscript reach out to her and say like, here are 10 pages of a thing that might be a thing. And, um, and kept in touch and kept asking what I was working on and believed in my voice enough to, to keep checking in. I want to give thanks to my editor, Rosemary Brosnan, who is the most incredible editor I could have imagined having, um, who saw this story and didn't make me other myself when writing it, who let me use the language that was authentic to what I needed to say, and who stands behind me on every decision of Rosemary, I get that some folks might not understand this, but it's how it has to be told. And who time and again is like, well, then that's how it has to be told and fights for me. Um, thank you so much to my publisher. I've been so lucky with Harper. Um, thank you, Suzanne Murphy at Marketing, Publicity, Sales and Design. Thank you, Erin. Thank you, Best. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Jane. A special thanks to my booze. I've been lucky to make friends at Harper. Olivia, Ebony, I got so much love for y'all. Drinks on me later. Um, <laughs> I want to give thanks to my family. I come from an amazing Dominican household. I was raised in a home with storytellers. I am only the first one to have the stage, but it probably should have happened a long time ago. So thank you to my families, to my homies, to my hood. I want to give special thanks to my ancestors without whom I would not be here. Special thanks to my husband, Shakir, who when I was an eighth grade English teacher was like, ah, oh, I might write a young adult novel instead. And he was like, all right, cool. Word, <laughs> do your thing and has, I've never told him a dream that I might have had that he didn't stand behind. And so I'm so lucky to have him by my side. Um, and, and this is the last thing because I really don't want Lisa coming for me. Um, I walk through the world with a chip on my shoulder. I go into so many spaces where I feel like I have to prove that I am allowed to be in that space. As the child of immigrants, as a black woman, as a Latina, as someone whose accented voice holds certain neighborhoods, whose body holds certain stories, I always feel like I have to prove that I am worthy enough. And there will never be an award or an accolade that will take that away. That is how I walk through the world. But every single time I meet a reader, who looks at me and says, I have never seen my story until I read yours. I am reminded of why this matters and that it's not gonna be an award and it's not gonna be an accolade, but it's gonna be looking someone in the face and saying, I see you. And in return being told that I am seen. And so thank you so much to the readers who time and again remind me why I took this leap, why it matters and why books matter. Thank you.